hello everybody and welcome back to episode 2 of my repainting tutorial. I am so sorry that it's been almost a month now since I last posted or did this series. A lot has been going on, stress and everything of school um, and just personal life in general have been quite stressful at the moment. So I've not really touched OMSI as such or, you know been doing things as such recently because I have been really focusing on myself and school life at the moment um, and yeah so in this episode today uh, this one is going to be focusing on how to do a much more complicated livery and uh, well, this, could be, this is going to and I was, I was asked um, I can't remember who by but I was asked is to show how to do swoops so I will show you how to do swoops and everything that today um, and we're going to continue with the C400R re uh, repaint that I was showing um, after um, on the first episode. And hopefully this video is going to be the, the second to last one now. And in the last, in the next video, I'll show how to do the, uh, <coughs> sorry, I'll show how to do the, re uh, the windows and then we'll put it all together, do the CTI files. And then it looks like, and we'll show, and I'll show you how it looks like in game. Uh, and we'll say, for instance, if you made any mistakes on how to correct the mistakes, make sure you check them correctly. How to save the files, everything correctly. Um, yeah. So let me quickly just load up Paint.net. So if you want to know how to um, locate all your files and everything, refer back to episode one, where I show you how to, you know, uh, where to get. Where your what's it your OMSI directory is, how to locate it, how to locate your vehicle files, your template files, everything. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you haven't seen that video already, which you know you probably have. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna load up what we were doing last time. I don't think I saved it. Let me just look. I didn't save it. So it's fine, we can just go back. I can recreate it again. So let me just quickly go onto a window thing. Uh, change the window settings. There we go. So if you remember, we left off last time with a with a grey blank file uh, template. So I showed you how to, you know, select everything. So you've got your your shapes here. You click that, and then you click this one, which will fill it. Get a simple color. We'll just get gray for now, or a light gray. And then, as I said, is I this is my personal preference. It makes repaint look a lot more clean and uh, realistic, shall we say? Is I always color this color the window partings, I don't know what they're called, the rubber seals, shall we say. Um, I always paint them black just to make it look a bit more realistic as it looks now. Ah, uh, uh, Let me just quickly, because my mouse is being an absolute pain in the backside. So there we go, we'll just leave it like that. So that's where we left off last time, and I also showed you how to make logos and stickers and everything. So we'll also do the same for this one as well. Right, and there we go. So that's where we left off last episode, and I did a simple, like a, a really simple design. I think I just did Kenzie's repaints or something. Dragged it across. And as I remember, I did a green eye logo down here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and look for. I'm gonna go look for a more complicated livery to do. So oh, let me just load, let me just look at something on Flickr. 
when it loads. Okay, so it's going to be a bit of a different one. I've not done this. I've not done a livery like I mean, it's it's pretty simple, um, but I've not done this livery design yet. Let me just load uh, Omni City. Uh, credits to the person Sulfur Explorer for your image that I'm about to use for my reference. So, the livery we're going to be doing today is we are going to be doing a simple Ipswich buses repaint. And in this, I'm going to show you how to, you know, use your colour picker and how to do all the different things and everything. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try and replicate this design at the bottom. So, we could quickly do that. And then what we're going to do is, is we're going to... Go back to our paint layer. So remember that your the file that you have will be blank. It'll be white. So obviously it won't look exactly like mine for obvious reasons. Oh good sake. Uh Cover on the light, and I always switch it to the Beza, Bezier. I don't know what the hell it's called. Just so it makes it a lot more simple and easier for me to get the lines in the correct order. So that looks that looks all right. That looks quite decent, if I do say so myself. And as I was saying in the last episode as well, this goes with. Um, any other on how to do any other repaints if you go on fellows films um, a lot of a lot of the repainters who repaint on there have very kindly created repaint template files in which has everything in the correct order so you don't have any issues with anything which is quite nice with them I thought and then we're just going to do that so it lines up which it does and then I simply Get the paint bucket, fill it in, image, turn down the tolerance a bit, hey presto, done. And then we do a bit of this, a bit of that, now we'll turn down that green a tad because that looks a bit dark, there we go, that looks better, um, make the tolerance a bit turn it up a bit, layer, there we go, now we're not going about this bit, I will sort this out, we're going to get rid of this for now, as you see, it then goes up to a purple again, I'm going to make that a bit darker as well, there we go, that looks better, uh, I'll get rid of this so I can see us again, there we go and then we refer back to the image and it's over the display boards and I think it goes it goes above the display boards like that I will move it down slightly so it goes above the doors because otherwise that will really irritate me and then what is it goes to green again I will cut the doors, don't worry, I will paint them black. Move it down a bit more slightly. And I know it's not gonna align with this, I will sort that out. Uh, I'm, I am looking at an Omni City reference because Ipswich buses doesn't, doesn't have any EC4 or E400 as far as I know. I'll make it there. And then we'll get the purple again. And move that across. 
like so. And that looks okay. <laughs> it's quite simple. Obviously, it won't be as perfect. And I th think... Hang on, let me just correct this. So it only goes where the display board is. It doesn't go any further. So I know that probably annoys some people. You have not done it correctly. Ah. Right, okay, so. That looks quite okay. Uh, that looks okay, actually. It doesn't look too bad. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly go back to here to correct this. And that looks that looks alright. Doesn't look it doesn't look that great, but obviously it isn't going to be perfect because this is only a repainting tutorial. It's only showing you how to do the basics of stuff. And then we will go there, cover these up again to black, and then we'll do it on the other side as well. Awesome. That doesn't look too shabby, actually, if you do say so myself. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, cover these up again. Hey, okay, presto. Done. And then what we'll do is, once we finish the base livery, we'll then, I'll, re I'll do some research on the logos and everything else. Make these black as well. When, when it's black it looks a lot better and it's a lot more neater in my opinion that's a stupid me okay awesome that looks good and then we'll do the same up here so it only goes really there there up there Further down there. How far do I put it down here? So halfway between. I put it there, I think. A bit further up, a bit further up, a bit further up. There. Purple. Move that over here. Ah. Uh, did not mean to do that. My mouse is being annoying. And then we'll do the same as we did before. We will go over. Hang on. Yeah, that, that purple looks fine. Okay, yeah. Sorry, it didn't look okay for a sec, but it looks fine now. Okay, then we'll color these black again. As, as I said, or well, I'll say now, I don't know if I said it before, but you don't have to do this. You don't have to, you know, cover over the, the rubber rings. But as I said, it does look, I find it a lot more, um, I, it, makes, uh, it looks a lot more realistic. And then we're going to go to the grills and we're going to paint these black. And I'm not sure whether the roof on Ipswich buses of these cities have coloured, but we're just going to paint it purple anyways because I don't know you don't paint them right now what we're going to do is, is I'm just going to do a simple type on Google uh, Ipswich buses logo I find a good quality one Uh, 
Let it go. One where it looks higher quality, not one where it looks really crap. Right, we'll take this one then. I don't know if that looks any better. Does that look any better? Does that look any better? Ah, that looks perfect. And already transparent for me. I always, as I, I will suggest as well, that when you do come to making liveries, make sure that you type in and have it as a transparent image, because it's a lot more, it's a lot easier. But if you if you can't find a transparent image, all you do is is you go to a magic wand and you just select the white bits and you press delete in every bit of white or black or whatever until it's coloured in. Now, as you can see. It, you can see some green outlines because obviously I've turned the tolerance down. So I'll turn it up to 42 and as you can see the green outlines are still kind of there. So I'll turn it up a bit more. Just a tad. And it's gone kind of. Uh, colour these in, colour these in, colour these in, colour that 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 in. That, 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 oh, oh, done, awesome. So then we're going to refer back to the reference image, and as you can see, it's all it's by the destination display. So then we're going to quickly go back to here, find the correct. Put it there. What's the size of that? And then 157. Go back to here, resize it so it gives it a lot better quality as well. So it doesn't look so pixelated. 157. Put it there. And put it there. Does it go at the front? No. Now I'm not going to worry too much about the stuff up here because I don't have the correct fonts. Actually, I'll add it. Actually, no, I won't add it because there won't be enough room at the top. So I think that is about it for this video today. It's a it's a short video, I know, but it's just it's just a it's just a guide on how to do deliveries a lot more complicated. Even though this really isn't that complicated to some people, but it might be for you know beginners who are just starting out. But it's just little steps, you know. And if there's any liveries that you want me to um, show how to make or create in next episode, then you're more th you can more than welcome put the links to the flickers of the liveries that they want me to make in the comment section below. And I will see you all in episode three. Bye.